Travel and Tell No One presents everything you need to know before traveling to Taipei. We are now live from Taipei. I've just landed to Taipei after a two hours flight from Manila. Local hour is 1.15 a.m. and we're going directly to the hotel to have some sleep and just after that we will visit this magnificent city. Stay with me. We just bought uh, the three-day ticket with 440 uh, Taiwanese dollars and uh, we are ready to visit the city. We are now going to Longshan Temple. Longshan Temple is one of the largest and oldest temples in Taiwan. It is a wonderful mix of Taoist, Buddhist and Confucian faiths. Longshan has been rebuilt multiple times after destruction by earthquakes, typhoons and even bombings. Taipei residents have consistently rebuilt and renovated. One of the rituals is to take three incense sticks, light them and bow your head at the main altar. Share your deepest wishes and questions with God. Next stop, the Red House. The Red House was built in uh, 1908 and it's the first octagonal building shape. When I stepped in Liberty Square, my first reaction was simply wow. Liberty Square serves as a major site for public gatherings in Taipei and is home to three major landmarks the concert hall, the theater and the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Chiang Memorial was opened to public in 1980. It represents the memorial of the Ruler Chang. There are 89 steps represent the age of Chang. I think it's uh, the most impressive monument that I've uh, seen so far. It is really beautiful and majestic. <laughs>
The park contains memorials to victims of the February 28th incident of 1947 when an anti-government uprising in Taiwan killed thousands of civilians. One thing you didn't know about me is that I like extreme sports. Extreme sports. <laughs> so if you didn't already subscribe to Travel and Tell, no one subscribe now. Changshan, also known as Elephant Mountain, has a hiking trail of about 1.5 kilometers. We are now climbing to the Mount of Elephant. The Taipei 101 can be seen from the trail and there are platforms that will delight photographers with spectacular views. The Shilin Nai Market in Taipei is one of the largest and most popular Nai Markets in Taiwan with regard to food and also one of the most popular points of Taiwan's nightlife among visitors. The most popularly recommended food in Shilin is the Oyster Omelette. What makes a visit to the National Revolutionary Martin Shrines most memorable is the changing of the honor guard every hour. The 30-minute ceremony is marked by incredible military precision attracting a large audience. The structure was established in 1969 as a lasting dedication to the war dead of the Republic of China. The design itself is meant to symbolize the courageous spirit of the martyrs. We are now going to Grand Hotel here in Taipei. The main building of the hotel is one of the world's tallest Chinese classical buildings at 87 meters high. It was also the tallest building in Taiwan from 1973 to 1981. Originally constructed in 1742 as a wooden shrine, the Bao Wan Temple is a Taiwanese folk religion temple. Throughout Taiwan's history, the temple was renovated and reconstructed numerous times, leading to an induction into UNESCO for cultural conservation. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, people are going to work, but we are going to the most famous attraction here in Taipei. Let's discover Maokong Gondola here in Taipei. From the metro station you need to walk like 340 meters. Can we buy also return from here? Uh, the, uh, ticket just only the one way. We talk okay. You okay. Talk about uh, yeah. With a total length of 4 kilometers, the Mao Kong Gondola is the first gondola system in Taipei City. 
One way travel time on the gondola is about 20 to 30 minutes. There are a lot of tea plantations on the way and you can delight yourself with a delicious green tea from the tea shops of the Mao Kong final stop. station here in the center of Taipei and we are going to drink the best milk tea in the town. Now let's experience together the Taipei Botanical Garden. Hello. This is Botanical Garden here in Taipei. What did you say? To subscribe and comment, travel and tell no one? Okay, I will do so. Thank you. Goodbye. Banka Temple is my favorite temple in Taipei. Have randomly discovered it while visiting a local Nai market. It impressed me by the detailed architecture, statues and decorations. From all destinations that I've been in Asia, Taipei has surprised me the most as I have underrated this city. Now is my duty to express my feelings for this amazing city. In Taipei, people are friendly, helpful and mannered, the city is super clean, transportation is perfect organized and highly developed. Overall prices are affordable, less expensive than other major cities. Climate is perfect, it has one season all year long, with warm temperatures even in the winter. Overall, an inspiring destination to visit. This was Travel and Tell No One, reporting from Taipei, Taiwan. Back to you, my friend.